Hello everyone in cyber world. Welcome back to another video. I'm Richard. And I'm Jennifer and this is our channel we call Poor Man's DIY. This week we're going to try to improve on our dust collection. Although we connected our table saw to our vacuum, it still produces a lot of dust. So this week we're going to try to improve on that. So in recent videos, we've done a very large uh, project where we built a uh, closet organizer and we did a ton of cutting on our table saw and our garage was just, it was just loaded with sawdust. No. Uh, <laughs> Uh, normally, uh, I know people actually will do this on the outside or they'll leave their garage door open when they do something like this. But our homes in here in Hawaii, where we are located, are just, they're stacked on top of one another. And if we leave our garage door open, the sawdust is bound to just come out and get all over the neighbor's cars. And then it'll just turn that sawdust into sandpaper when a person tries to wash their car. We don't want to do that to them and we don't want sawdust all over their homes either. So our rule has always been that if we're going to do any kind of woodworking that we close the garage. Unfortunately, because there's not a whole bunch of ventilation, actually there's no ventilation in here, um, we have to do a lot of cleaning after every single project. So this is something that I wanted to work on for quite some time. Something came up on, on uh, an advertisement and uh, someone has, was selling something that was similar to an idea that I was going to try and implement uh, using wood and theirs was better. So let's take a look at what we did for our, our uh, table saw. To begin this project, we have to remove the table saw from the mobile stand. Although we connect a dust connector to the table saw, when the project is done, there is a huge amount of sawdust under the table itself. I wanted to build a funnel that would direct the sawdust down to a vacuum, but found this. This unique system uses Velcro to attach a bag that directs sawdust down to a vacuum port, or it can be used passively and captures the sawdust and you use a zipper at the bottom of the bag to open and remove the sawdust. I'm going to cut open holes, but I need to drill pilot holes for my jigsaw. Now that's been installed, we reattach the table saw. And now to give it a little test run. Oh no, even with the shop vac and dust collector connected, a large amount of sawdust is still engulfing the bottom of the table saw. On a whim, I decided to encase the bottom of the table saw to minimize the sawdust from flying out and redirecting it down to the sawdust catcher.
I tested it once again and this made it work much better. Meanwhile, another tool arrived to help reduce the dust even more. Although it's advertised as a universal piece that will fit table saws, it won't fit mine, so I'm going to have to do some creative work on this. Now let's see if it'll fit our table saw. Now the part fits so we can attach the cover. Now we can test all the toys that we attached. Once we finished cutting all the wood, there was still some very fine particles of sawdust around, but I would say this successfully captured at least 98% of the sawdust that we used to have blowing around our garage. Our dust collection system is doing extremely well. We really are impressed with it and it makes our life a lot simpler not to clean up the garage all the time. Okay, for next week, um, we're not sure we're gonna be able to get this done in time. Uh, it turns out our new AC that we had installed works maybe a little too efficient and uh, the condensation and whatnot it kicks out is uh, overwhelming. It's now dripping so bad that it's actually causing rust all along the sides of the house. So we've got to come up with something. So I'm going to be climbing out onto the roof and uh, seeing if we can install a gutter. I'm not sure we're going to get that done in time, but we have a couple other projects we're also working on. So one of them will be ready by next week. So until we meet again. Bye-bye. Bye.